woke is destroying Australia and the Western world. We're told woke means being awake to truths that have normally been suppressed. This means rewriting history, cultural traditions, societal norms. And what we thought was up to the woke world, it's down, or it might be over there, or maybe over there. Being woke means rewriting history to suit your own personal arguments. Being woke, well, it means establishment of new scientific principles to suit your revision of the world. Climate change, of course, exists because we've forgotten about the entire view of photosynthesis and chlorophyll and the fact that carbon dioxide is important to grow things green. Anyway, being woke also means defeating the science of economics because being woke means that the relationship tension between the owners of capital and the means of production should yield to ensure that the owners of labour are equally rewarded. So meaning being woke means celebrating mediocrity. It means condemnation of the exceptional. Woke means reward for effort. Well, it's a construction of oppression, not of opportunity. And this rubbish has filtered into our society slowly but surely over decades. It's a trickle of woke. It's now become a flood. It's disorientation of our society. It's all but complete. And woke people believe we've been kept in the dark about societies and cultures different to ours. Well, I guess I'm the anti-woke because I'll never proselytise. I'll never tell you what to believe. Rather, I will trust you to ask the questions and work it all out for yourself. But woke means if you're not immersed completely in their revision of the world, you should be cancelled. You should be shunned, derided, driven out of any debate. Well, to me, being confident about your belief, being confident about your traditions, the things your parents passed on to your culture makes you stronger. And finding yourself with people who have different cultures and traditions, in fact, allows you to learn. Because you're confident about you, you can learn about others. Woke, however, doesn't shine a light on others to learn. Instead, woke is always about trying to extinguish the light on, well, us. Because woke believes the entire construction of Western democratic capitalist society must be destroyed to make the woke view work. Woke is never to be questioned. It's a rote process, one you never question. Woke devoured the week and it's after the rest of us and everywhere you turn, mainstream media, big corporations, superannuation funds using your money on their virtue signalling wokeness in government, in parliament. Woke is everywhere. This week's budget forecast seemed optimistic enough. It was, of course, an election year budget, but the risk of woke hasn't been factored into the budget. Scientist and sceptical economic commentator, the Queenslander Viv Forbes, he's made a good point in his note to me this week. He said not one useless law was repealed, not one tax was abolished and not one bureaucracy was eliminated. Forbes says the repeal of capital gains tax, for instance, would encourage new capital flows. He also says that all federal government taxes, rules and bureaucracies which impede energy discovery and development should have been abolished. He rightly observes there's been a change in the world energy dynamics in recent weeks and it means that while other countries are returning to coal and gas and nuclear... Australia's governments are stuck on this woke path, opting for wind and solar toys while subjecting those who are seeking to explore new energy sources to years of drawn-out approval processes. Wokes love them. Likewise, Forbes also points out to the folly of the strict adherence to the international rules around climate, which has locked away productive lands and has denied us easy and timely access to water which, when added to our vast plains, can grow food and fibre, create meaningful jobs, jobs and, of course, make us all a bit richer. All of that is needed. We need water plants which serve our national interest and the woke condemns such thinking. Woke only works when you create victims, you see, or a sense of victimhood. So the budget had a narrative about smaller government, less intrusion and optimism, but desperately Australians are seeking leadership against the woke rubbish which is pulling down our way of life, down this path of victimhood. Woke needs a risk assessment. Each year in the budget, they should say, we're going to do this, but what would the woke world do to us? Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky, 
the so-called lion of democracy, was right when he told Parliament yesterday that the threats to his country can happen, well, to any country. But we've invited this wokeness in. We've allowed our country to be so weakened by woke, we are such an easy target for any aggressor. And right now, a lot of quiet Australians want to purge the Australian Parliament of the weak, the woke and the woeful. The budget, I think, was a start in turning it around. But, Prime Minister, if you make woke the issue, you'll wipe the floor with the weakest, wokest alternative Prime Minister in recent memory. And, Prime Minister, you could win this coming election in a landslide.